So, buckle up. <laughs> Got something totally new for you now. What is this? It's a totally new application. It's called Safari. And it is a turbo browser for Mac OS X. We have done our own browser. And it's hot. It's the first major new browser in five years. And it's sweet. So let me tell you about it. First of all, why did we do a browser? There's two reasons. Number one, speed. Speed. This is the fastest browser on the Mac, period. And let me show you how. iBench, standard internet, independent internet speed testing. We tested four browsers on the Mac. Internet Explorer, the latest version. Netscape, the latest version. Chimera, the latest version. And Safari in a beta version. We tested it on an 800 megahertz G4 iMac. So let's go to the first test, iBench's HTML load speed test. Now this is a test where they take a lot of web pages and load them into a browser one after the other without stopping. And they measure how many seconds it's going to take. So let's see how everybody did. IE took 53.7 seconds to complete this test suite. Netscape took 33.6 seconds. Chimera took 21.8 and Safari took 16.6. <laughs> and if you do the math, that is three times faster than IE on the Mac. Three times faster. Let's go to the next test, JavaScript. iBench JavaScript test. Again, a long JavaScript test. They measure the number of seconds it takes to complete it. As you can see, Safari is over twice as fast as IE on the Mac. Very fast JavaScript on the Mac now. And load times, I mean launch times, we can see, again, 40% faster. It launches really fast. So speed was our first reason for doing this. It is the fastest browser on the Mac. You're going to like this a lot. But the second reason was because we wanted to innovate. We think there's a lot of innovations left in browsers, and we want to make the best browser ever. So we've done a few things. How many of you use Google, right? We've integrated Google right into the toolbar. So you don't have to go to Google to type your search. You just type it right into the browser. Now, when you're searching on Google, you find a set of search results. You pick one. You go down into it. You go down another level. You go down another level. You go down. Oh, that's not the right one. I want to get back up to the top. Back, 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 right? No longer. We have a new feature called Snapback. A little arrow you hit takes you right up to the top shows you the Google search results. We have a whole new way of doing bookmarks. What we found in our research was people don't use bookmarks. They don't use favorite bars very much because this stuff is complicated and no one can figure out how to use it. So we have a whole new way of looking at bookmarks and ease of use. Because as you know, you only use what you understand. It doesn't matter how many features are in a product if you don't understand them because you can't use them. So we want to make this thing Easy to use. So let me show it to you. I've scrunched it all so it'll fit on, the, fit on the screen here. But this is the UI. It's a very minimal UI. We want to get out of the way and let the content of the page be the star here. So we've got back forward buttons. We've got reload buttons. We've got add to bookmarks, place to put your URL. Google integrated right into the toolbar. We've got our bookmarks bar for your favorite bookmarks. And we've got our bookmarks library for the rest. So. This is how simple it is. It's the most innovative browser we know of, and I'd like to show it to you now. OK. Let me launch Safari here. Boom, that's it. Let me quit it again. Launch it again. Boom. That's it. So this is Safari. Now. <clears throat> Let me show you what it's like to, um, to search some of these uh, sites on the bookmarks bar. Here's Apple. Here's Amazon, typically a little slower of a site. Here's Yahoo, eBay, Salon, you know, Internet Movie Database, City Search. You know? And uh, I can, uh, 
Let me show you some standard sites, too. Uh, Wired is a site that's got the latest internet standards, usually the latest and greatest DHTML and everything else like that. So let's go to Wired News and again just see that everything works, everything works fast. Here's another site, uh, ESPN, very popular and they do a lot of wacky things with their site. Again, works perfectly. Uh, Finding Nemo, one of my favorite sites. Uh, <coughs> obviously we've uh, we built QuickTime and Flash and everything else into the browser, which is nice. If you haven't seen this trailer, I highly recommend it. And then another site that I want to show you, uh, this is really fun. This is a flash site to the max. Uh, if you haven't seen this one, it's really fun. I'm on high bandwidth. And uh, so you can just uh, make music here. get the idea. So uh, really fast to almost any site. Now let's talk about the bookmarks bar. That is this bar right here that has my uh, favorite sites on it. First of all I can move anything around just by dragging it, which is really nice. Second of all I can get rid of something just by dragging it off and it goes poof and of course I have undo to get it back uh, but uh, it's very easy to uh, move things around and rearrange them on the bar. But that's not the coolest thing. The coolest thing is, let's say I want to add a site to the bar. So I type uh, NYT, which I know is New York Times. I like to go read the New York Times online. And uh, I want to add that to my bookmarks bar. Well, you know what it's like to, to add something to your bookmarks bar because, or, or add something to your bookmarks, because the name from these sites is giant. And you have to go in somewhere and rename things, and it's, it's really a pain. Well, let me show you how we do it. I can drag this anywhere in the bar I want, or I can just hit this button. And what happens? A sheet pops down and says, would you like to rename this thing? And instead of this giant name, the New York Times on the web, which if I said, no, go ahead and add it, it look, look at what it's added here. Right? I don't want that on my bookmarks bar. So I say, no, go ahead and add it. I'm going to rename it NYT. There we go. And now I have the New York Times right here. And I can put it anywhere I want. That simple. Again, you know, Disney. Disney, you'd think, would have a nice, simple name. But oh, no. You go to Disney and, you know, Disney Online, where's the, where the magic comes to you. And I don't want all that on my thing, so I'll just pick Disney and I'll add that because I wouldn't mind Disney on my bookmarks bar and again, put it anywhere I want to. So it's that simple to add bookmarks. Now we're going to go into the bookmarks library and this is all of my bookmarks. What does it look like? Does it look a little like iTunes and iPhoto? Yes. We found this metaphor works perfectly for bookmarks. So here's my bookmarks bar, everything up there, and you know I can edit it. Uh, you know I can I can have uh, pull down menus up here, obviously, uh, and I can edit them right here. I've got my bookmarks menu up here, and I can edit it again right here. It can be different than the bookmarks bar. My address book. Every website in my address book is automatically put right here, so I don't have to go to my address book to find it. Here's my history. You know, this is all the websites I visited today or the day before. And then all of the folders that I want to create with bookmarks in them, you know, I can drag a bookmark. Here's National Geographic. I can just drag it up to here. Ask if I want to rename it. No, I think I'll just throw it right up there. And obviously, I can go to any website just by clicking here as well. Right? Very, very simple, very powerful way to manage all of our bookmarks. OK. <laughs> Lastly, I want to go to Google. And uh, so what I want to go look for in Google is, uh, let's see, Safari travel. So I'm thinking about taking a safari and boom, there are my search results. I didn't have to go to the Google site to type them in. I type them in right up here and I can, uh, you know, just uh, pick one of these sites and let's go check it out. Here's a site, African wildlife safaris, you know, classic Kenya safari. And I'm pretty far down in the site and I could go back, back, back to get up to the top. But see this orange thing that appeared here, this orange arrow? I just click that, that snap back and boom, I'm right up at the top of the Google search. <laughs>